Hello, this is Bo. Are you stuck on how to wire an automation joystick to your PLC for your latest automation project? Or maybe you're someone who has experience with Arduinos and Raspberry Pis, but you're just trying to understand how wiring works for industrial automation PLC controllers. In this video, we will help you understand how to wire your joystick to your electronics PLC project, how to differentiate between a digital versus automation relay joystick, how to attach wires to each other to create branched electrical connections, and lastly, how to attach wires to screw terminal connections. Let's say that you have a PLC controller, a power supply, and an automation joystick. How do you wire these together? Well, first you connect the zero volt, also known as ground or negative, from the power supply to the click PLC negative terminal, as shown in black here, and the 24 volt positive VCC from the power supply to the click PLC positive terminal, as shown in red. For this click PLC, the negative and positive power inputs are on the bottom side, or in some cases, the power supply can be latched directly to the click PLC on the side. To make these connections. These remaining four screw connections must be wired together into a branch and connected to the 24 volt positive VCC power line of the power supply. Lastly, Next, don't connect the forget wire to connect the your power supply to a power C1 outlet. screw terminal on the PLC and attach it to the negative zero volt ground line as shown here. Common just means that C1 is the common return path for the X1, X2, X3, and X4 inputs to be connected back to ground. The X1, X2, X3, and X4 are inputs on the click PLC, where a switch, a sensor, or some other input could be attached. Note that for outputs such as motors, you could be using the port 1 or port 2 with RS-232 or RS-485 serial protocols and ASCII commands in the ladder logic to actually drive the motors to work in response to the switches or sensors, which are the inputs. But for now, we just want to attach the joystick. So we connect X1, X2, X3, and X4 separately to the four individual screw connections that are clustered together on one side of the joystick. You'll notice that the other side of the joystick also has another set of four screw connections that are kind of clustered together. Usually, a wall outlet has 120 volts of AC power in the USA. So this power supply, in this case, is converting the AC 120 volt to a DC 24 volt. Typically for a power outlet, the shorter top prong is the hot or live L connection. The top longer prong is the neutral or N connection and the bottom middle larger half circle prong on the outlet is the ground connection. If you're taking apart an existing power cord, for example, that has AC power and plugs into the wall outlet, choose the type that has round wires since they usually are also marked by color, where white is neutral, black is live or hot, and green is ground. And you can use a wire stripper to pull apart these three different wires from the power cord. For those of you who haven't yet purchased a joystick for your project, how do you determine which type of joystick to get? Well, if it's an automation project with ladder logic and a traditional PLC, then an industrial automation joystick is the way to go, such as those with a normally open or normally closed joystick with screw terminals. However, if you won't be using a PLC, and you will be using a hobbyist Arduino, Raspberry Pi, or a more industrialized productivity open GPIO from Automation Direct, then you'll need a digital joystick, which you can distinguish, which can be distinguished based on the fact that it has a VRX, VRY, and SW connection. Note that the productivity open GPIO from Automation Direct can be used with either the digital or the traditional automation joystick types, depending on what modules you buy. Are you having trouble figuring out how to connect the wires together in a branch? 
If you're prototyping a project, you can start with the Adafruit Snap Action Connectors. For a more robust connection, you could use soldering and solder wires directly onto a pin header with melted metal. I have other videos explaining step by step how to solder and what supplies you need for that. Or you could use a distribution terminal block. If you do, make sure that the inserted connections are all electrically connected to each other. And lastly, if you're a super beginner and not sure how to connect wires to screw terminals, Lastly, if you're a super beginner and unsure how to connect wires to screw terminals, I do also have additional tutorials posted, such as this one, explaining how to connect the wires to the terminal connections. Also, I wanted to acknowledge The Aviator, which is a YouTube channel that I personally found which helped me learn originally how to wire four-way joysticks myself. Thanks for watching, and feel free to leave comments if you have specific YouTube tutorial requests or different videos that you would like to see next time.